This video explains how to sketch linear graphs. When you are given an equation and you need to sketch a graph, there are a variety of ways that you can do this. The first is by using the equation to make a table of values, such as this one, to find some points to plot. Here is an example. We substitute the values for x into the equation y equals 3x take 1. Starting with x equals negative 1, we get y equals 3 times 1 minus 1, which equals 2. Therefore, when x equals 1, y equals 2. We then repeat this for each of the x values in the table. From this table, we can see that the coordinates for this line are 1, 2, 2, 5, 3, 8 and 4, 11. We can now plot these points on the Cartesian plane. We can then join these points by drawing a straight line through them. The second way to do this is called the gradient and y-intercept method. By looking at the equation, we can determine the gradient and y-intercept. From this equation, we can see that the y-intercept is negative 1 and the gradient is 3. We can then plot a point for the y-intercept at y equals negative 1. By looking at the gradient, we can determine the rise over run. If the gradient is 3, then the rise is equals 3 and the run equals 1. From this first point that we have plotted, we then need to move up 3 spots as this is the rise and move across 1 spot as this is the run. This is where we place the second point. We can then join these two points with a line. This is exactly the same as the first graph that I created. The third and final approach we will look at is called the intercept method. Using this approach, we will find both the x and y intercepts and plot these points onto the graph. The y intercept is where the line crosses the y axis. At this point, the x value is always zero. Therefore, we can substitute zero into the equation y equals 3x take 1 to determine the y-intercept. From this equation, we can tell that the y-intercept is negative 1. We can then plot this point on the graph. We then need to determine the x-intercept. At this point, y equals 0. Therefore, we can substitute y equals 0 into the equation. This gives us 0 equals 3x take 1. We then need to transpose the equation so that we have x by itself. To do this, we first need to add 1 to both sides. This will cancel out the negative 1 on the right hand side. At the moment, the x is being multiplied by 3. To undo this, we need to divide both sides by 3. This gives us 1 third equals x, or x equals 1 third. We can then plot this point onto the graph we can then plot this point onto the graph and connect these two points with a line. All three of these methods will give you the same answer. It is a good idea to practice using all of them. However, you will most likely favour one method over the others.